Welcome back to the Junk Man's Adventures. I'm the Junk Man, and here's a little auto vlog quickie. Now this is one of my other cars, and this is actually what the other car, the GMC that you've been seeing me on the regular auto vlog, that's what uh, that replaced, um, is uh, this car for long trips and kind of as a family car. Anyhow, uh, a while back, actually back in May, it's September now as of this recording, uh, I replaced the radiator uh, with a larger unit. Well, because the tank had cracked and uh, and obviously it was leaking. Anyway, the replacement, I bought the heavy-duty police and taxi version, which adds an extra row of uh, cooling into it. And anytime I have the radiator out or I'm draining the coolant, if I haven't replaced the radiator hoses or they're just old, uh, I always replace them. So I replaced them in this case. And I went back with the uh, normal factory spring clamps everywhere but one place. And now it's September, we've been having massive fluctuations in temperature as normal, and uh, the low coolant light uh, came on. Well, obviously it's leaking coolant somewhere. And as some people may know, oh, that must mean the lower intake manifold gaskets going, or it's a head gasket or something. Well, I wasn't quite sure about that because the last thing I did was replace those radiator hoses, but one of them, I used a worm drive clamp instead of the factory spring clamp. And the reason why is the factory spring clamp uh, was a little bent and um, it didn't fit the aftermarket hose I bought very well. So I used a worm drive clamp instead. And that's perfectly fine, except for it was very warm at the time I did that. Now it's gotten very cold and now the hose has shrunken up and now the clamp isn't tight enough. And now it's leaking. And this happened over many, many drive cycles and actually the recovery tank is not empty. So it's, it's not a critical situation here, but I'm glad um, I caught it and I'm glad the recovery tank has the low coolant sensor in it in this case. And the first thing I'm gonna check is that. Well, when I reached my hand up under here and I couldn't see it, but I got a piece of paper towel here, and we'll take a look. And if you can see that, there's a little bit of, you know, it's wet. It's wet right under where the joint of that hose is. So that's where the leak is. And you can also see a few little spots down where it's dripped along a little wiring loom and then onto the um, air conditioner compressor. So all we got to do is because it's now colder temperatures is tighten that clamp up and should be good to go. It's a little bit of a tip and something that a lot of people may not think of and they may run off to their mechanic and really when it's a, if it has these worm drive clamps or somebody's put those worm drive clamps on there, might just need a little bit of tightening is all it is. Anyway, this is a quickie and subscribe, check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and um, ring that bell for the notifications so you don't miss these vlogs if you're really getting into them and be sure to check out the other ones and as always, thanks for watching.